Hi everyone, once again, this is FS Gold, one of your Forex mentors. And today, guys, I'll be showing you a strategy of NASDAQ, the Elliott Wave Channel Strategy. This strategy, guys, first of all, is simple, straight to the point. But in order for you to understand how to apply it, you're gonna first need to understand what is an Elliott Wave Channel and how exactly does this lead to being a strategy, okay? So without any further waste of time, guys, let's get started. So firstly, let's start what is an Elliott Wave strategy. An Elliott Wave is a form of technical analysis that traders use to analyze financial market cycles and forecast market trends by identifying extreme highs and lows in prices and other collective factors. Meaning that this strategy goes hand in hand with technical analysis. You need to be able to identify highs and identify lows and other factors that can affect you having your highs and lows. So this strategy identify waves known as impulse wave that set up a pattern and corrective waves that oppose the larger trend. So the eight wave strategy moves in the direction of the main trend followed by the three waves in a correction. Meaning that in order to understand Elliott Wave strategy, you must know what is the main trend. So the main trend of Elliott Wave strategy would be bullish, meaning an uptrend. The main trend is an uptrend. Let's go to the next slide. So firstly, we're going to start with the impulse channel wave. So do you first remember how I told you guys about the impulse move? An impulse move in a buy trend represents a buy. A correction would represent a sell. So an impulse wave consists of five sub waves that make a net movement in the same direction as the trend of the next largest degree. This pattern is the most common motive wave and the easiest to spot in the market. Like all motive waves, it consists of five sub waves. Three of them are also motive waves and there are corrective waves as well. So this is labeled as a 53535 structure. Now I know pretty much you don't understand what I mean by that. This would be our one impulse wave. Now let's label it. This would be one, this would be two, this would be three, this would be four, and this would be our five. So we call it a five, three, five, three, five structure. It consists of five movement, hence it's called a five, three, five, three, five structure. Our five represents impulse move. And our threes represents a correction. We have an impulse move, a correction, impulse move, correction, impulse move. So meaning it's an overall bullish movement. All of this is our impulse wave. It's an overall buy. Okay? So let's continue with the lesson. Secondly, we have what? Corrective waves. What is a corrective wave? Corrective wave consists of three or a combination of three sub waves that make a net movement in a direction opposite to the trend of the next largest degree. Like all motive waves, its goal is to move the market in a direction of the trend. So basically, this would be our corrective wave. So do you remember the first one? We have an impulse wave. One, two, three, four, five. Now our motive wave would be consist of three movements, of which would be one, two, three three so let me show you the labels we call this one two three four and five which is our impulse wave our correction wave would be a b and c this is our a this is our b this is our c it's only three movements so this is a corrective wave so as you can see right here if we put a trend line like this this makes it what a crossover it can act as a head and shoulder as you can see right there so i'm going to explain this a little bit more further as we continue i'm just showing you what is an eight wave it's when we have an impulse wave and a corrective wave now let's continue with the lesson i'll show you exactly how to apply this strategy these waves help us to better understand the overall direction of nasdaq as a whole it's been a continuous bullish market now let me show you exactly how I'm saying it's been a continuous moving market. So this is NASDAQ, also known as NASDAQ Inc, NAS 100, US 30, different names as they stated for you before. So now let's go back and see whether it has been a bullish movement. It has always been a bullish, meaning it has corrective wave, but overall it's been increasing. It's been having a bullish momentum, also having a slightly bit of corrections, but overall it's been going up. 
as you can see right here that is why the impulse wave represents a buy the overall direction of a nasdaq it's a bullish it's been going for buys overall having slightly small retracement okay so now let's continue with the lesson so secondly we have what we call a consolidation channel in order to be able to understand how to apply this strategy of nasdaq consolidation channel you should understand how support and resistance works you remember how support and resistance work guys like i told you before resistance and support don't change you'll buy at the support and sell at the resistance until a breakout is made that's when you can make the opposite so when a breakout happens like for example the market crosses the resistance it then becomes a new support vice versa let me show you what i mean by this let me say i'm changing the color so let's say we have a line here and then this is our resistance this will be our resistance meaning we sell at the resistance but the moment this line crosses over this very same line that used to be a resistance would now become a support meaning we would buy when the market come to retest at that point this is what it means when there is a breakout this resistance now becomes a support vice versa okay so now let's continue our lesson so this would be how to understand a consolidation channel this is a consolidation channel a consolidation channel doesn't have an overall movement it's not an overall buy or an overall sell it just you buy low you sell high you buy at a support you sell at the resistance at a resistance we sell at a support we buy this is basically a consolidation channel now lastly we have a rising and a falling channel all these channels they'll make sense at the end i'll explain to you how they lead up to having an elliot wave strategy so i said buy at a support and sell at the resistance when a breakout occurs on the raising channel the market will form a retracement to test back the new retracement formed what do we mean by this i mean here what do we know we know that we buy low and we sell high in a trend so this is a rising trend also known as an uptrend and this here would be a falling trend also known as what a downtrend so meaning this here would be our trend line also known as what an uptrend in support so the moment this support structure gets crossed it then becomes a resistance so the market has to retest that resistance and this after this retest that's when it's gonna fall because what we sell at the resistance we buy at a support so this was our support but the moment it crosses over and comes to test it then becomes our resistance and opening opportunity for us to what to sell so this is basically an, a thorough understanding of what an elliot wave strategy is so now let me show you what an elliot wave strategy is an elliot wave has an impulse wave and a corrective wave and how does that exactly lead to strategy what is the main strategy that i'm trying to show by this after we have our impulse wave we will have our corrective wave meaning this would be our rising channel and right here would be our falling channel together they forming a what an elliot wave this would be our 53535 five, and this would be our a b c so the reason we're showing this strategy is because we're trying to show you about this line right here this line here called an uptrending support meaning the moment the market crosses over that support it then comes to retest it making us have an entry of selling let me search nas 100 nas 100 is also named as, as nasdaq it's more clearer like this firstly we would have our what our impulse wave and secondly we have what our corrective wave so now how to know when to enter a sale the moment this market crossed over here giving us a retest gives us a retest at this point here at this point here that's when when this crosses over comes back and retest it can either be a double top a one entry but that's when we should look for sellers so as long as the market is above this line here as long as it's above we are at buying opportunities but the moment it breaks over comes to retest we are now running into selling opportunity and that would be all from me guys fs goats signing out